Hey, I'm Aja A, and welcome to Sunshine Haze. Don't forget to check out all the links that I have listed down in the description box. And if you like the video, please give me a little thumbs up. If you have any questions after the video is over, feel free to drop them down below. I try to respond to everyone. And if you all know people interested in astrology, numerology, tarot, or whatever I'm talking about on this channel, go on and send them this link. And don't forget to hit subscribe. And of course, thanks for tuning in and rocking with me. May this info help y'all live your best lives. Peace. Hey y'all, welcome back to Sunshine Haze Co. I'm Aja A. For those of y'all that have never seen one of my videos, um, this is your monthly tarot forecast for June. This video is for the Leos, Leo Sun. Let's get some smudge going, Leo Moon and Leo Rising. So before I get started, if you feel like what I'm saying isn't resonating with you, go on and check out your moon and or rising sign, which I do have linked down below in the description box, okay? This is going to be your typical four card spread, looking at the energies coming in for you or the overall energy for the month of June for you guys, any challenges or obstacles that you might be facing. Because we're working with Gemini energy for most of the month of June, we'll be looking at where you need to have a little fun, live a little life. And then as always, a quick little soul message, something extra to take away from this spread with you, okay? So with this first deck, we'll be looking at the overall energy for you, Leo. Oops. Deck there. You've got friendship coming up in the overall energy for you for the month of June. I'm going to go on and pull your next two cards so you can get a little bit of uh, additional insight, some clarification on why that card is popping up for you for this particular month, okay? These next two cards will be any challenges or obstacles that you might be facing during the month of June. And then also, as I said earlier, where you need to have a little fun, where you need to live a little, lighten up. this deck here <clears throat> excuse me I left the house and soon as I left the house I sneezed and I was like damn it I did not take any allergy medicine but I was already on my way so I was like well it's a little ladybug you've got the king of swords in your crossing position <clears throat> excuse me and the ace of coins and where you need to have a little bit of fun so let's go on and read the month of june for you leo the friendship card popping up here first and foremost i want to talk about the numerology on this card it comes with the number 17 which does break down into eight which is all about karma and cycles and infinity but you've also got one in there which is all about new chapters and independence and manifestation and a seven which is all about divinity and truth with this being the friendship card i would not be surprised to say uh, to see if you leos on a literal sense are in positions to where you are dealing with <clears throat> things going on in your friendships things going on in your close family relationships or even your uh, romantic relationships or partnerships um, those things being on the forefront this month and it could be in a way that is very positive but it could also be in a way that could come up a little negative please keep in mind that we are in the retrograde cluster as I like to call it and we are now in eclipse season <clears throat> excuse me let me take a sip <laughs> And yes, I am drinking a White Claw because it's nice outside. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm grown. <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry. Allergies are trash, y'all. Anyways. So, with this friendship card, these things could be coming up on the forefront for you. However, with you having this 8 energy resonating with this card on a deep, deeper level, I get this sense that a lot of you Leos are shifting into different spaces, energetically different places, energetically. Um, Sorry, y'all different spaces different places energetically and coming into these positions to where you're looking at okay well who can I bring with me who can have a seat at my new table because I'm getting some new furniture I'm I'm really and y'all are Leo's y'all like new fancy shit so it's kind of like I'm kind of tired of what I've got going on over here 
um, I'm getting some new furniture. I'm going to get a new table. Who can I bring along with me to eat with me at this table, to break bread with me at this table? So it could be on a subconscious level to where you're kind of just thinking about it, or you could see these things transpiring in the physical for you during the month of June. I think the retrograde energy is lending a lot to you during this particular month. And also keep in mind that we're getting ready to come up on your birthdays in about a month or so here, right? So with that being said, you're closing out chapters and you're getting ready to come into a new one that eight energy does talk about cycles and karma so just pay very close attention to the conversations you're having to the energies that are popping up in your friend groups or to the way that you're feeling about certain situations and i would say put a little bit of work into figuring out why into figuring out how you need to move forward in regards to those energies okay <clears throat> Next card that you have coming up in your spread is in your crossing position, challenges or obstacles that you might be facing during the month of June, and you've got the King of Swords here. King of Swords, first and foremost, with this being a crossing card, because it is a court card, you could very much be in a predicament where you're dealing with somebody, uh, a King of Swords, you're dealing with somebody that carries a more mature masculine air energy, um, an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. Um, they may not necessarily be that sun sign, but they may have a lot of those placements or they may have a lot of air placements in their charts. Um, some person that is actually causing you a little bit of strife, right? In your friendships, it could be a friend. Um, with that being said, with this being from the sword suit, I do pick up on the fact that if this is a person that you're having some sort of conflict or some sort of disagreement with in regards to your perspective, it... it that's probably what it has to do with. Um, I did that sentence didn't come out right, but it could be somebody around you carrying those energies that just looks at life completely differently than you do. And you may not necessarily agree and it may be causing a little bit of chaotic energy in between the two of you. Um, on a more general level, you could be in a position to where, and especially with everything going on to where you're looking at things like this is not the way that it needs to be or this is not how this needs to go down and it could be on a personal level in regards to something in your life but the thoughts around you or the <clears throat> accepted you know process for whatever it is that you're involved in is not necessarily what you think you don't think that's right and what I will say um, Leo is with this card you can turn it into an upright position so if you know me uh, any of my Leo friends watching this video if you know me you know one of my personal mantras is it's all about perspective so if you're in a position to where you're like this is I don't agree try to take a little bit of time to turn this card into an upright position and tap into some perspective we're, re we're dealing for most of June with the energy of Gemini which is an air energy which is very intellectual <clears throat> resonates very heavily with the mental so take some time to tap into perspective and kind of see things in a different light and when i talk about perspective that does not mean that you have to change your mind but it it's more often than not more beneficial to at least understand where other people or where other groups or where other energies are coming from um, and then typically you tend to shift your shit into a more positive for yourself or whatever works for you so just be mindful of the things that you don't agree with of the things that you have a strong no on and kind of start to look at different aspects of those situations okay <clears throat> next card in the spread is in the position of where you need to have some fun and you've got the ace of coins listen if you watch my videos you know i love me some pentacles cards and the ace of coins is one of my favorite cards in tarot because this is a money card baby but this is talking about where you need to have some fun with this being gemini energy and everything else that's happening cosmically i talk about this in quite a few videos that i have up right now this is a time to tap into your creative abilities into your creative talents um but this card comes in that position with pentacles so what this does tell me is leo if you have ideas if you want to do something artistic if you've been working on something and you haven't necessarily put it out or you know actually tried to do anything with it now the month of june is the time to start to plant seeds this is the ace card it starts to suit it's not necessarily oh we're there we've got it all together the month of june is the time and be especially because we're in retrograde season be mindful of actually making physical moves but you can use this time to start to think about and start to intend and start to manifest what you want to see play out for you in the physical in the near future here the ace of coins comes with a very positive energy so whatever creative projects you've got going on whatever ideas you have even if it's not creative like artistic in a sense whatever new ideas you have there's money there there's success there there's abundance there so give it some energy during this month start 
looking into business plans, start doing some research, start, you know, reaching out to people that do the same thing that you do or have the same type of businesses that you're trying to start or create, you know, um, take some time to plan out how you're going to get the wheels turning during this month of June. You're getting ready to wrap up your year. And so once you come into your year, you want to hit the ground running and your year is fire. You start with fire. So you want to get all that shit together now. So when it's time for you to hit the ground running, you got everything that you need to run that race. Okay. Alrighty y'all. Let me put some more smudge on my little coal here. Um, shameless plug really quick. I have several products available through my Etsy shop, but I am um, putting some new ones up and I will have smudge blends available. I'll have a Zen blend. I will have a spiritually strapped blend and I will have a divinity blend available. I just, they're not up because everywhere that I get herbs from, uh, they're either sold out or they're not open yet. And, um, <clears throat> when it comes to buying spiritual stuff like stones for my jewelry pieces that I make and like oils and herbs and stuff, I don't like to order those things online. I, li I, I like to smell them. I like to see them. I like to feel them. I like to feel the energy to see if that's really something that I want to use. So those smudge blends will be up when I could get some herbs, y'all. But if you're interested in, you know, cleansing your space, protecting your space, bringing in whatever kind of energy you're intending, I will have something available for you in hopefully in the next week or so here. Okay. All right, y'all back from my shameless plug let's go on and pull your last card this last card is going to be the soul message for you leos um something extra for you to take away with you from this spread for the month of june okay So message is peace. <clears throat> so quickly, numerology, numerical energy on this card is 23, breaking down into five. So that is all about change. And you've got this air card in your crossing position. And I gave you messages about shifting your perspective or at least understanding other points of view. And you've got this let's have some fun and get the money rolling in type card. So everything that's transpiring in the month of June is to bring you into this space of having the peace that you'd like to have within yourself and around yourself and i also think that this is a card just to give you guys a little bit of a message leo <clears throat> let me let me tell y'all something you guys can be very paranoid you, you can be very worrisome um and i have seen that kind of escalate with everything that has been going on from covid to this these racial injustices my message to you for the month of june is to take a breath it is okay if you're not out there protesting or rioting every day. It is okay if you're not posting on social media every day. It is okay if you're not, you know, if you forget to put your mask on when you run into 7-Eleven. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's okay. Don't freak out. Be as safe as you can. Try to find the peace. Try to keep the peace. Try to find your zen during this month of June because you have a lot of cool new shit coming in for you, which is going to take a lot of energy and it's going to take a lot of work. And it's going to probably be pretty quick moving. So right now, when you get a chance to breathe, breathe. Okay? Okay? <laughs> All right, Leo. That is your spread. I hope that it... I hope that it found you well. Um, this just flipped out. I was getting ready to put the card back in and shuffle it. And you got the trust card that just flipped out of the deck. So, you know, trust that everything is going to be okay. And trust that the things that you are learning about are going to bring you to where you need to be. All right. So that is your spread, y'all. Again, I hope it found you well. <laughs> if you feel like you need your own personal reading, you can book one with me down below. That link to my Etsy shop is down there. Um, I've got a few videos up that I would suggest checking out. The June Pick a Card readings are up I, for the month. I also have uh, the Gemini Lunar Cycle Gemini New Moon video up. We'll be dealing with that video. Uh, that video will be dealing with that energy for the next month, and the Sagittarius Full Moon Lunar Eclipse <laughs> video will be up shortly. And what else? What else is going on? Oh, hella retrograde. So I also have a link to the retrograde cluster playlist <laughs> down in the description box as well and that is it for my shameless plugs y'all thank you for tuning in i will catch y'all next time peace